So here we are, we're going on a little pack walk with Bowie, Frida, and Sophia, the two poodle sisters. And we're gonna walk in a nice structured way. Heel. And Bowie's kind of the guide, sort of the grandmaster of the parade. He likes to help and these guys stroll along nice and happy. So we're just strolling as a pack here. Frida, Bowie, got the beautiful views of the San Fernando Valley. So a dog who's been well trained can even get ahead, but they have to learn hey, to stay at pace conscious of where you're going at all times. Good, that's trust. Okay, let's go. Hey, so you see, he's still connected with me energy-wise, but a lot of dogs can't handle this. As soon as they get ahead, they start to just draw themselves so far forward, then it's a problem. But with Boo, and I can easily come, call him back, sit, and have control anytime, and he knows that, and that's the trust in the commands I've had because it's been proven to work. Because I've, I've practiced, I've put in the time. Good guys, good. You should keep the pace, even if they're not looking. Good, very good guys. Very good. And I can throw a random command on them at any time. Sit. Good. Yeah. Good. And I actually want to do this for a sec. Just like that. Just to do some distance. So they learn how to listen without me being close. Yeah, so. Make some distance commands. Good. Create some space. Very good, guys. So when we walk, the whole idea is to create this collective unit versus working independent from one another. And it really taps into this thing in a dog that makes them feel like they're part of something bigger than themselves. And it really not only in the moment, but carries over to their, their everyday existence, uh, a nice, calm, content, very satisfied feeling. Down. You're already down, lay down. Good, back to business. Now we're in a focused working state. Good. Somebody's listening very good. Look at Miss Frida. Look at Miss Frida. Just want to build some space with my down command. This is all implied. Once I tell them it, they have to maintain it until I engage them in the next command or I release them. Very good. We will walk through them. All listen in sync. And we're having some free socialization time. Rita's still learning the ropes here. Of course, you have Miss Sophia's kind of shy. Boy, off. Off command socialization time. Have them let loose a little bit, have them mingle, learn how to be with each other in a more free interactive way. And of course, because Frida might push it when it's only humans or her sister around, she's 
slightly submissive and avoidant, and Bowie's here because he's the more confident dog, and he might call her out on her game plan. Won't he? So that was some highlights from today's training session with Frida and Sophia, who are two standard poodles. And as you see, they really thrive from having Boo come along and teach him some basic skills in terms of pack walking and socialization skills. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. Love your dog. Bye guys.